Steve Superick here, Fayette County TV, We're here with Coach Mook John. Mook, you got to be uh, pretty excited with the upcoming national event coming here. It's always a fun time, Soup. You know, uh, teams from all over the country, all different talent levels. Uh, we have some recruits coming in at that time, so it's a good chance for recruits to see the kind of uh, basketball that's being played and the atmosphere that that USCAA tournament brings. And it really is just an exciting time of the year for us. Well, it sure is. And uh, speaking of recruits, uh, you've been able to get uh, players from all over the country. Uh, I love saying Rancho Cucamongo, California, and uh, Washington, D.C., and uh, Hawaii. And uh, talk a little bit about it. Is that uh, the national tournament being hosted here that's had to help you in your recruiting efforts? Absolutely. Uh, a young man being waited to in, in, be interviewed next, Brandon Cunningham, uh, he and his father came out for the national tournament two years ago uh, to, to take a recruiting visit and see if they liked everything. And it, it, it's, a, it's a tremendous recruiting tool. And, and that national tournament uh, was a big reason that Brandon had decided to come from Rancho Cucamonga. And it's a big reason that Spencer Perrieff and Luke Williams came from Hawaii. And a big reason that Darius Mack came from Washington, D.C. And we have some kids coming in from Minnesota. We have a kid coming in from San Diego for the tournament. And we're going to bring back some of our local recruits for the tournament to give them, again, that, that eye opener of what it's like to play basketball at that next level. And what it's like to play basketball at that level is uh, with the facilities here at Fay Campus are second to none at this level. Second to none. Uh, and we boast in our recruiting emails and when we talk to people that it's second only to Cal U and maybe Duquesne and, and maybe Pitt. But other than that, on our level and on a Division Three level, we're very fortunate that Mr. Eberly and his foundation uh, decided to, to build this community center and, and, and the main arena. And, and no matter where we play, as Coach Mattern referred to, we come back to the nicest facilities in the country. And this year's squad uh, really kind of getting into their own. You've had injuries. You've had uh, you know uh, people uh, you know in and out of the lineup for injuries. But you're, you're really kind of gelling right now. And one of the things that we've talked about in several cases, the chemistry of this team is tremendous. It's just uh, <laughs> it's it looks like a tight knit family out there. It really is, and that's something that we preach. And fortunately for Coach Davis and myself, we came in to a group of guys that were already ready, ready very close. And the guys that we brought in to, to mesh with those guys that were already here bought into all of that family-like atmosphere. And they truly are the epitome of a family. And that chemistry works so well. When those in guys that had injuries went out, some of the other guys like Darius Mack and Derek Jones and Tony Bristol and CJ Gaddis, they all had to step up. So now when we get a full squad back together, Things are really, really starting to gel, and we hope that we're peaking at the right time for the national tournament. Well, it seems like you are, and uh, and uh, talk a little bit about you know your uh, coaching style compared to you know your very motivational uh, uh, kind of a hands-on type approach, and uh, it seems like you get a you get a good response from your players. Well, Coach Davis and I fortunately played for the same high school coach. And that high school coach taught us about motivation and taught us how to respect the game and respect our opponents and, and respect each other as, as teammates and family members. So that's, it, it, it's that intangible that, that makes a team succeed. And uh, I, I can't say enough good things about the group of guys that we have right now and the effort they put forth and the time that they put in the summer and off season, weight training, getting in the gym and shooting on their own. You know, it, it's. We like to motivate, but when you got guys that want to be motivated, it makes it a whole lot easier. Well, Coach, uh, it's going to be exciting. I know you're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to uh, watching the games, broadcasting the games, and good luck to you in the tournament. Thanks, Soup. It's a heck of an atmosphere, and, and we look forward to it as, as well. Steve Superick along with Mook John here on Fayette uh, County TV.